This day 18 years ago, what was the largest wildfire in state history began to burn. News Channel 10's Sydney Batsloff reports on how the current wildfires are bringing back memories of the East Amarillo Complex fire. The 2006 fire claimed 12 lives, including a firefighter who died in the line of duty. Two other firefighters were also injured, including Joey Garcia, who says every time there's another fire, it brings up memories of that fateful day. On March 12, 2006, the East Amarillo Complex fire began burning over 900,000 acres, claiming a dozen lives, including Howard Wick firefighter James McMorris. A fellow firefighter, Joey Garcia, was responding with McMorris and recalls the situation. Once we got the head knocked down, I asked James to back up. When I asked James to back up, uh, he backed up a little bit and I gave him thumbs up to stop. So I thumbs up and he stopped. And I started spraying again because I couldn't see because all the smoke. And that's why I asked him to back up. That's when Garcia says he felt the truck shift. And I got thrown off the front of it. I was thrown down in the path of the truck. And when I landed on the ground, I turned and looked up at the truck. And it was on its side. And I felt like it was still rolling. It ended up rolling on top of Garcia. I had popped up my head realizing I was still alive, which was the grace of God. McMorris was ejected and later died from injuries. Now, many years later, Garcia says blame has been thrown around related to the death. Everybody needs to stop looking at the worst picture that did happen because we're the ones living with that. But what we really didn't do was save lives. That's the biggest picture. He wants to remind the community firefighters face many dangers on the front lines, and many times they are volunteering. I've done so long you couldn't even pay me to do it in the first place. Even after the incident, he got back on the truck. Every one of them I put out was for James. So not for myself, I did it for him. After years of selfless service, Garcia has recently retired from firefighting due to health reasons.